He's a legend in automotive design. From 1949 to 1962, Chrysler design head Virgil Exner put his unique forward look stamp on many of the most popular and sought after cars of the era. British author and historian Peter Grist recently detailed Exner's design impact on Chrysler and the industry in the first and only book about Exner's life and times. Grist spoke about his biography as a guest of the Walter P. Chrysler Museum last week, where he said his heritage may be British, but his heart is all American when it comes to cars. I'm totally obsessed with Chrysler cars, basically. Dodge in particular, but all Chrysler cars. I've got 59 DeSoto, and um, uh, all, all, oh, I've got four or five cars, and they're all Chrysler's. I wouldn't drive anything else, be so. But it's a big following for all American cars, uh, and um, especially for Chrysler cars. The people that love Chrysler all stay with Chrysler's, and, uh, and we adore them to bits. Grist has authored books about Dodge, but said he jumped at the chance to do an Exner biography. He was the last of the great designers when a designer could be responsible for a whole car or a whole range of cars. Uh, nowadays it's, it's a big committee meeting and no one person is really responsible but he was the last of the great designers uh, and, um, and he actually transformed the way cars were designed at Chrysler especially. He uh, was engineers used to design the cars. Um, he actually took that away from the engineers and got the designers to design the cars, which sounds odd today to say, but that's how it was in those days, in the 40s and the early 50s. And he actually took up the design mantle and, and created um, the design uh, department as it, as it still is now. Grist said despite what he calls the company's roller coaster ride over the decades, Virgil Exner would give today's Chrysler designs a big thumbs up. I mean, Chrysler do make the most exciting cars in the world today. I mean, they all hark back to a golden age of car design. Uh, and uh, especially the Challenger and the Chargers, they all take something from history. Uh, so I think you would love them. A minimalist uh, ornamentation, the sculptured sides, uh, and, and even the, the radius wheel arches. He, he loved all of those things. They were all Exner design cues. So they all take something, they all get something from Exner. Uh, so I think it would definitely appreciate them today. Copies of Peter Grist's biography of Virgil Exner are available for purchase at the Walter P. Chrysler Museum or on Amazon.com. I'm Betty Carrier Newman.